More than a dozen new laws are now in effect here in North Carolina. Not in your sites, Claire Molay spoke with one district attorney who breaks down what this means for citizens. There are quite a number of new laws to talk about, but District Attorney Scott Thomas says there are a few that may be of particular interest here in the East. Thomas covers Craven, Pamlico, and Carteret counties. He says one big change, it is now illegal to operate a modified vehicle known as the Carolina Squat. This new law will create a violation to modify a vehicle to creating their, their front fender being over four inches higher than the back. Uh, so that'll be a motor vehicle law. And a violation of that could result in a court cause fine or po possibly a revoked driver's license. Thomas says another big one is a law making it a felony to injure an officer while resisting arrest. And I think that's important for our law enforcement community to protect them uh, whenever they're exercising their duties and somebody resists and then they end up with a serious injury. And on the other end, there is now a requirement for law enforcement to report any use of excessive force by a fellow officer to a superior within 72 hours. There is also a law addressing the theft of catalytic converters. So that penalty now has, has been uh, increased for the uh, theft or possession of those catalytic converters. And there's also a, a penalty and a consequence for a person who buys a catalytic converter solely uh, from a person. Another worth mentioning increases the age children can be tried in a juvenile court, raising it from 6 years old to 10 years old. Thomas says it's common for criminal laws to take effect on December 1st. He says he believes that these new laws will make the state safer for its citizens. In Craven County, Claire Molay, 9 on your side.